I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless. Now, as funny as this is, if you want some context, it says in the comments, she's a pro boxer, Sophie Ailish. This is just reflex training. It's not for her to actually dodge anything. It's just training her body to react. And I guess it works because it says age just 21. The boxer already has a perfect pro record of eight wins and eight fights and is earning plaudits all across the globe. Hey, fair enough. Maybe he wouldn't do that to her face then. I knock her out. What is her biggest red flag? Her mouth. Does that get her in trouble a lot? She's from the streets. She's from the streets. <laughs> he called. I don't know what's it like dating this guy. It's hard because I can't get over his past. You can't get over his past? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, oh, it makes me want to throw up every time that I think about it. Please, somebody tell me this Muppet is trolling. There's no way she's being serious right now. I wouldn't put it past it, to be honest. She's got that crazy look in her eye. How do you poop at a guy's place? I do it. I like to mark my territory. I'm like a dog. <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I really, really enjoy looking at attractive women. But, you know, I don't want them to come too close to me. Don't come to me. Don't stay over there. But yeah, it's a pretty because you're probably crazy as a and you everything. He's basically saying, look, don't touch. And I tell you what, sometimes you're better off just looking because when you talk to really attractive women, they're actually really boring. A lot of super attractive women have never needed to have good conversation to get what they want. They just got to look good. I'm tempted every day. If I want to, I anybody that i want to but i don't yeah you don't so, you don't because you know it's gross i don't think that it's gross you're not emotionally <laughs> wired that gross. way and that uh, was very misogynistic that wasn't one minute later is men and women the same we're better okay so like, no. that was misandrous <laughs> not wait better. do you know what misandrous means no but i'm sure you're so gonna tell me so misandrous <laughs> is is it's funny how you know misogynistic means which that's the hatred of women but you don't know what misandrous means because that's the hatred of men Bitch. Does a man or a woman benefit more from divorce? The woman, definitely. All the matter. Even it she knows really this. Depends. Don't lie. I'll let you say first. Let's just put it like this, though. If a woman really wanted to seek what she was looking for in a divorce, she would get it 95% of the time. Yeah, 90% of alimony goes to woman. 90% of yeah. alimony. Man, oh man. You don't have to worry about that with me though, because I don't have children. Listen, we married, we married for life. That's forever. Yes, we are. I ain't playing. I already done told her. You ain't no leaving me. Again, I personally will probably never get married, but if any of you do, then make sure you pick the right woman, because the wrong woman, she'll fuck your life up. Because usually in most parts of the world, as a man, if you get divorced, you're the one who gets the rough end of the stick. Who's known better for cooking, men or women? Women. Name a famous chef. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. Is he a female? No, he's just a good chef. Who's known to be better at cooking, men or women? Women. Name a famous chef. Um, that guy from, what's his name? The one from MasterChef. Oh, that guy from MasterChef? Yeah. Who's known better for cooking, men or women? Women. Name a famous chef. Um, Gordon Ramsay? She's a good chef. Oh. <laughs> if anyone, according to you, can identify as a woman, anyone can, right? I, I don't see a problem with... Just literally put the hand up and say, I'm a woman. But it, it's not an easy thing to do. I'm a woman. That's how easy it is. To go out into Actually, the world, it's that's easy. very easy. It's it's very easy. <laughs> you might think it's easy to say, but to decide to do that, to say what this is doing it involved. Whatever that person decides, but to Doesn't go out into the world up? and say I, I don't identify as perhaps the sex. So I was why born can't as, I identify? Not... Okay, why can't I identify as a black lesbian? <laughs> well, firstly, I mean, it was well, I'm serious. Her. I'm serious. If I can identify as anything mm -hmm. without any need to prove I'm actually what that is. I, I Why can't I, on International Women's Day, say I'm Piers Morgan, I'm a black lesbian? I think taking it to a kind of absurd no, status... No, no, I think, where I think we're that's talking what... talking about quite a, a With respect, I think that you would already opened the absurdity door by saying it is limitless. You know? This is what's wrong with women. So if I went to jail for life, you said you'd wait for me? Yes. Get the f*** out of here! No, no, you wouldn't for life! No, I ain't coming out! How are you gonna wait they for me? They got conjugal visits and I can see you. Y'all women be full of, oh my, no, you're not. You're not waiting for life for me. As you think some, I want to start over? No, I'm good. I'll see you through the glass. We met two months Hi, ago. There's no way you. Hi, baby. See, this is why women. Yeah, fellas, we're not living in a fucking Hollywood movie. Most women are not going to wait for you forever if you get put in prison for life, especially these modern day women. And you're also a bit of a muppet if you've done something to put yourself in prison for life. Life's too short. Stay safe. If I was a woman, I wouldn't want to have a child later. Why would I want to have a child? I don't need to have a child. I don't need to have a man. I don't need to pretend that I'm in love. I don't need to pretend that I want to be a mother. I don't need to stay at home and play giggle giggle with a little child. 
who's just another slave in the system. I don't, I don't have to do any of this shit. Why should I do that? Because she might end up like Chelsea Handler, bruv. Chelsea Handler, who I don't know who decided she was funny and when. I don't know. This is one of these unanswerable questions in life. Who was the person responsible for this decision? I don't know who that is, and I don't care to find out. No one knows. Well, she has put out a video. It is titled Day in the Life of a Childless Woman. This is a day in the life of a childless woman. I wake up at 6 a.m. I remember that I have no kids to take to school, so I take an edible and go back to sleep. I wake up at 12.30 p.m. and get ready for a busy day of doing whatever the f*** I feel like. I put on my most impractical and stylish shoes since I won't be chasing a child around the grocery store. I go to my fave spot in Paris to grab a croissant. I do a meditation sesh on the plane since I have no screaming kids, allowing me all the time in the world to become enlightened. So first off, did you come anywhere within a few light years of a laugh in that particular video? <laughs> she starts off her day and she talks about probably what she actually does, right? She, she does pot, right? She has an edible. And then she and then she goes back to bed and then she wakes up late. And then she puts on her most stylish shoes. And then she does a series of things that she doesn't do during the day, right? What did she actually do? She got a camera. She made a bad video. She drank a load of wine and she went back to sleep. That's what she did that day. The next morning. I woke up this morning. Well, more like this afternoon and noticed that there was an emergency meeting of the receding hairline society to discuss a comedy video I filmed about not wanting kids. So Chelsea Handler cannot let this thing go. No one was talking about Chelsea Handler until Chelsea Handler decided that she was going to go online and put out a video talking about how wonderful it was not to have kids. And some of us looked at that and went, mm, you don't look that happy. When you say that the height of human happiness is eating an edible at 6 a.m., going back to sleep and and then getting up and drinking a lot of wine and doing Xanax, I gotta say, that doesn't sound like happiness to me. That doesn't sound right. No. A lot of people thought it was a joke. A lot of people thought she was actually depressed and she was being sarcastic. This just feels like some feminist propaganda to make women not have kids and end up with cats unhappy alone. So apparently this is from a feminist march in Spain and it's funny isn't it how the women are there complaining about equality which they already probably have, complaining about men treating them so badly but then the guys are there right behind them, not complaining, making sure the city literally does not fall apart. It's another ironic example of feminists proving it, they only want equality when it suits them. Makeup's lying. Makeup is the most accept accepted lie in society. I'm but, not. Like, so do you think like <laughs> also like dyeing your hair an unnatural color is lying? I suppose it is, yes. Okay. I so reshaping your body and like working out and giving yourself tone muscles, that's also changing your appearance. That's not a lie though. You're actually making you're a change. You're accentuating your body. To, you're, you're conflating exercising and getting fit to makeup, something that can be put on and removed. Couldn't you compare your beard to makeup since it hides your jawline? That's so true. Yeah, that is true. No, not really. How come? It's definitely different. When How is it different? In public, he's going to have it. Like, and... If he does take it off, it's gonna grow back. It's a part of him. Whereas, like, we choose when we want to put on and take off makeup. You know? But like, you can choose and when you, you want to take off a beard. It's changing or not. your yeah. appearance. It's totally different, though. But like, I know many guys like do certain haircuts, like beard shaping, just to like get a certain defined jawline, like to make their appearance look different. Because one's natural, and one's artificial. One's actually you, and the other one's fake. The beard is mine. It's a part of me. The makeup is not. And if I've put in the hours at the gym and I've worked hard on my body, I've eaten the right food and now I look better, that's still my body, it's still me. And I've said this before fellas, but I'd be very careful about settling down with a woman that you seem without her makeup. And believe it or not, there's guys that do it. One day you might wake up next to her and you'll shit a brick. Andrew Tate or Ted Bundy? Um, uh, uh, Ted Bundy. Why Ted? Um, I don't like Andrew Tate. This fucking donut does not know where he is, let alone who Ted Bundy is. This is why people think NPCs exist, bruv. This is something y'all really into. Y'all don't take mm -hmm. it as seriously as women. So for you to act like, why, you know, impulsive. Why, why oh, would you say that? Why we don't take it as because serious? Because I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to speak for all because women. Because you guys can't get pregnant. You don't take it seriously. Yeah, so like, for y'all to be taking that serious, why the fuck y'all getting pregnant by a million that ain't going to be million? You enough. are hurt. Huh? How, hurt. Am I, how am I hurt? Because who's a million? I'm, and who's uh, you? How many, how many women out here that's pregnant by a man that's not and even who, with them? And how many are out here with mad baby mothers? Mad baby mothers. So, but you just said woman gives the access to pregnancy, right? I didn't say that. She did. Okay, so well, I'm talking to her then. You need to be quiet. No, I don't need to be quiet. Yeah, it's a podcast. you do. Because you angry right now. I'm not angry. You I just questioned why better. you're hurt. She's saying he's her, but she sounds pretty hurt herself. A lot of people will do this. When they're feeling someone, they'll project it onto you. Best thing you can do is act unbothered. The more unbothered you are, the more bothered they'll be. Guys are really insecure about everything about... You bet. Absolutely. <laughs> You're generalizing all men. I'm, I don't know. Oh, no, we're all insecure. I'm insecure.
I hope this is a joke and she's not actually comparing her relationship to a TikTok video. Because if you think that couple in that little TikTok video are like that every day, then you're a muppet. If he's that bad, he gives you no attention, he's always playing on the game, then pack your bags and leave. And to the guy, if it's not a joke, if she's using you for content and she don't think you're good enough, then send her where she belongs. She belongs to the streets.